What's up, YouTube? <laughs> How's everybody out there doing today? What is freaking up, guys? I hope you all are having a fabulous freaking day because we have so much exciting shit going on. So much. You guys are definitely, definitely gonna wanna stick around and watch the next few videos coming out because, whoo, boy, let me tell you, we're making some freaking progress on this piece of junk car. And if you are new to the channel and you don't know, you don't know what the hell's going on here, this is my kid's 1997 Acura Integra shipbox. B20 VTEC engine that we swapped in a while ago. Needs a fender. I got the fender. I got the fender, don't worry about it. I might put that on this video here in the beginning, okay? But we're building this car as a surprise because my kid is in boot camp in the Marine Corps in Paris Island, South Carolina, and he graduates September 30th. September 30th, he graduates and He's in rifle range right now, which is good. He, he's doing okay. He's doing okay, hates it, but he's doing okay. First link in the description if you wanna help support the cause. We are selling t-shirts to help fund this build. And you guys not only get to see um, a cool car be built, and let me tell you guys, well, let me just tell you, wait till the next video. You guys have no idea what is going to be going on. It is, it's crazy. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. You want to see this build. You want to see this build. Trust me. You, you guys are going to, it's going to blow your freaking mind what's about to happen to this thing. It's going to blow your mind. Anyways, anyways, if you want to support the build, go buy a t-shirt. First link in the description below. There's going to be three of them. Two of them are up. We're going to be releasing the third phase t-shirt here soon in the next few weeks, maybe a week or two, maybe next week. I don't know. We're going to be releasing it. Um, but not only do you get to see a cool car get built, thanks to you guys, but you also get some pretty kick-ass t-shirts, guys. So go do that, please, now. Let's, let's start this video. Let's show you what we are going to be doing. Now, as you guys know, this is a completely surprise build for Zach, my boy. Um, he does not know this is going on. So when you're in Marine Corps boot camp, you can only write letters. You can not make phone calls. You cannot see the internet for three long months. So he has no idea that this car is going to be 110%, I'm telling you guys, 110% different. It's not gonna even look nowhere near the same that you're seeing it right now. Right now, you see a ship box. Soon, you're gonna see a masterpiece. It's gonna be freaking amazing. And the first thing we're gonna do, well, one of the things we did already was we put the max beating rod shocks on coilovers. We need to adjust the front because they're too low. And we didn't do that yet because Let's go back here, guys, and show you what we got going on. Because, oh, look at that. Holy smokes, we have tires on the rims. If you guys don't know, these are Zach's rims that he bought. We ended up getting a, a good buddy of our JS coating to powder coat these a custom Nardo uh, gray, almost a dark Nardo, Nardo, Nardo gray with a little bit of flake in it. And I just was able to get some tires put on these things, some West Lakes, you know, not the most expensive tires in the world, some cheapies, you know. West Lakes uh, 215 45 17s is what's on here. That's what these reels are wrapped in. I also have center caps coming. I think these are Motegi M MR7s, I think is what these are called. They're an old style wheel. Zach got them really cheap, and before he left, he didn't really have the time to put tires on it or the money. And fortunately, I do. So, we got some nice tires put on the front on the wheels. And what we're going to do today is we're going to self-adjust. We're going to adjust the suspension on this car. We're going to put the fender on, the orange fender that we have. We're going to put that on so we can get the right clearance and everything. I don't think the back's going to need adjusted. And these also have spacers. So, I don't know if we're going to be using the spacers or not. Because with the Steelies, you need the spacers. But with these, we might not need the spacers. Which is fine. So, we're going to get this thing up in the air and take all the wheels off, put the fender on, and then we're gonna test fit these guys and adjust as needed in the front and get this thing looking good. And that is just step number one of the complete transformation that this car is going to go through, guys, the complete transformation. So let's get this thing up in the air, let's get these wheels and tires off and put these on and see what they look like. We'll probably put the backs on first. And I also have 
which I'm gonna have to wait for. I have a caliper coming from this side because the e-brake don't work. That's why my beautiful burnout in the beginning was shit because the e-brake doesn't hold on this side and it just rolls away. So this e-brake's messed up. It's a common problem with these Acura Integras. We're gonna be replacing that and putting new brake pads on the rear as well for him because the brake pads back here are pretty dang shot. The front ones are good to go though. But uh, yeah, let's get her up in here, guys. So I did end up taking the spacers off because I did test fit the wheel and it didn't fit. Well, it, it stuck out too much is what it did. So I took the spacers off and retested the wheel, which now you guys are going to see. And I'm not going to lie. These freaking wheels look fucking badass. Let's do it, guys. Your first taste of the wheels on the car. Guys, check that out. Oh my God, it's freaking amazing looking. Oh, and it clears everything real nice. Doesn't rub, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't rub. Oh yeah, that's a nice wheel, guys. That's a nice wheel. Whew. It fits so nice. Fits so nice. Plus, I wasn't really a big fan of these spacers anyways, but we needed them. Um, they came with the car when we had the steelies so the guy that we got the car from had these on with the steelies but now now we have a freaking nice nice wheel um i have center caps coming we'll take these center caps coming and then i also want to find these stickers that go in here or maybe what i'll do is i'll do a custom sticker in this inlay right here for zach and think of something quirky or something funny to put on that sticker comment below leave your suggestions on what this sticker should say um, on it, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe you guys can think of something cool and I'll get my buddy to make the stickers and measure out the size so we can put the stickers in there for him. And that'll be like that cool little, like subtle accent thing to it, which would be pretty awesome. So what we got to do now is uh, adjust the front. So up here, guys. So up here, we need to adjust the front. That way it's leveled out throughout the entire car and uh, all that fun stuff. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna measure what the back is because I like where the back sits and I'm gonna make the back the same as the front or the front the same as the back, get all the wheels on, bolt them down loosely, sit it down on the ground, see what it looks like. If it looks good, then I'll leave it alone. Um, but also we have to put Mr. Fender on, which we're gonna do since the wheel's off since the wheel's off, we'll be putting Mr. Fender on here as well. So that should be pretty simple to do too. So that should be pretty simple to do too. So I got the fronts adjusted evenly. I'm hoping it's right. We won't know until we get the wheel on, but we definitely have to put this fender on in the time being. Make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to be lined up. Now, yeah, this looks ugly right now, guys, but uh, calm down. Like I said, the whole car is getting wrapped. I might actually end up, if I can find a, a silver fender, I might end up switching this out for a silver fender in before the wrap, maybe. Or maybe just, I don't know, leave it alone, because you're not going to really see it. Maybe we'll wrap down here on the side. I'll have to get that hole in there. Not too shabby, guys. Other than it's orange. <laughs> Other than it being dirty and a little bit out of place. It's not bad. Not bad. It's on there nice and sturdy. I'm happy. We definitely got to fix this here, which I don't know how I'm going to do right now. But let's get the front wheels on at least. Oh, yeah, buddy. Let's get the other wheel on and we'll sit it down on the ground. Well guys, there she is on the ground now. Yes, the back wheels are not on yet because I got to do a brake caliper on the other side, which I'm going to be doing here in this video here as well. But 
That wheel gap looks pretty decent to me. Just farted out of my mouth. And on this side here, you can get a little bit better understanding. That wheel gap doesn't look bad at all. I think once the car settles, and obviously we have all you know four tires on here, or wheels, it's gonna look very, very nice. Now we might be might end up rubbing a little bit, but definitely is a lot better stance-wise than before. I know this orange fender just literally throws this thing completely off. <laughs> so funny. Orange fender just throws it completely off. But yeah, guys, let's uh let's get the caliper and put that on the back get these back wheels on wrap this thing up guys i hope you guys are as excited as i am because after we're done we're gonna put it outside and show you a complete picture of uh well the, the colorful side the, the non-colorful side of the car and how she sits i might raise the front up a little bit um comment below let me know what you think in the comments when you see it on the ground but let's get this caliper and get it on so we have our nice new caliper we've got some nice new brake pads man they look tiny hope they're the right ones oh yeah they are they're the right ones they're the right ones we're gonna go ahead and switch out this caliper first and then we're gonna change the brake pads on that caliper next and uh we'll show you what it looks like when it's done brakes are pretty easy i don't need to go through showing you guys how to obviously change brakes and stuff so that's that's pretty simple stuff all right guys we got the new brake caliper on it is properly bled 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 bled, bled. properly bled bled new brake pads on the rears right here which he, which is gonna be freaking awesome. E-brake's gonna work a lot better. Front calipers and front pads are good to go. So we don't have to worry about them. Let's get the last two wheels on guys and see this thing on the ground at its final stance. It's gonna be freaking amazing. All right guys, we're gonna let her down and you guys are gonna see, they already look good. They already look good on this car. I just, man, it's too bad we're, wrapping it <laughs> you'll see that in the next video guys amongst a whole bunch of other really awesome stuff that we'll be unveiling in the next video so definitely keep a look out here we go guys let's see how she sits oh oh <laughs> yo check that shit out we're gonna pull her outside and see what she looks like in the sunlight I might end up lifting the front up just a hair more. Um, that side don't look bad. It don't look bad. Oh, this thing looks nice. I like these wheels. These wheels really look good. Comment below, should I powder coat or paint the calibers? That's one thing I was thinking about doing, but I didn't. So let's get her off the lift. Let's get her outside and let's see what she looks like in the sunlight, guys. <laughs> oh, guys, she looks, oh, she looks pretty. Oh, she looks so pretty. Except for that orange fender, which is fucking weird. Oh, Zach's gonna get a kick out of this car when he sees it. He is gonna get a kick out of this car. Oh. Okay, guys, are you ready? You ready? I hope you guys are ready. Bam. Look at that shit right there. Zanga. Oh, man, the sun's, where's the sun at? There we go, a little bit better, other than the orange fender. But man, that looks good. I might raise the front up just a hair more. Maybe another half an inch, maybe. Maybe a quarter of an inch. The back sits really good, though. Like, I like how it's just barely tucked. Maybe I'll even lift up the back a little bit as well. Oh, comment below. You think I should leave it like this, guys? Or you think I should... uh? Should I raise it up another maybe a quarter to a quarter inch on both sides all the way around? What do you think? Comment below. Let me know, man. But there you go, guys. Freaking the wheels are finally on of this freaking car. I do have new lug studs or lug nuts coming for this, and they're they're in black. So they are coming. Um, I'm probably am going to paint them calipers, to be honest. Eventually. Not anytime soon, but eventually. Maybe I'll leave that to Zach. See what he wants to do. But the e-brake's working great again, which is awesome. New brake pads in the rear. Wheels and tires are on. And we are moving along with this build, guys. It's going to be freaking epic. Freaking epic, guys. I'm telling you, the next video you see come out on this car, you are not going to want to miss because we are unveiling everything, guys. Everything that we have 
to get ready to do this, uh, this build and you guys are gonna be amazed. You guys are gonna be amazed. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get that next video update because you're not gonna, gonna, you're not gonna wanna miss it. And of course, if you're interested in buying any of the Operation Bootcamp Build t-shirts, first link in the description below, go buy one or both t-shirts or all three when they all come out, whatever. It's definitely helping guys, as you can see and it's gonna be helping a lot more. So the more money we raise, the better products that are out there and the better parts I can put on this car for Zach's uh, homecoming back from Marine Corps Paris Island boot camp, the more surprised he's gonna be, which is gonna be freaking awesome. You guys are doing something freaking awesome. You guys should all feel very, very good about yourselves buying these t-shirts and contributing to a build like this. I know it's not much, but it's something and it's gonna mean something to an important person in my life as well I hope an important person on this channel to you guys' lives. This is gonna help somebody. This is gonna make somebody very happy um, So go buy t-shirts guys go tell your friends share the link for me Let others know that I'm doing this and that I'm I'm trying to build this car for my son like let other people know, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram, help me out here a little bit. The more we raise, the more stuff we can do to this car and the bigger the surprise is gonna be for Zach when he comes home. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing, and deuces, guys.